My shoulder's a little sore already, and I haven't even sold a hot dog. <laughs> you know, like a pad on this strap. It's funny. I don't believe that Mark's ever done work like this before. It's a hard job. He didn't look very athletic to me. I know you're going to be sore after today. I know you're I remember my right first day. 28 years ago, my first day, I couldn't walk. You know, I was 16 years old. My dad was the boss, and my family's been in this business forever. That's what makes it fun for me. My cousins did it, my sister, my brother. OK. But everybody's done. I'm the only one left. Oh, yeah? It's pretty interesting that Rocco's family, pretty much all of them have worked here at one time or another. And he's been here since he was 16. This is his 28th year. The fans are coming in. Get back to work, and okay. we'll go from there. Hot dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs. <laughs> Hot dogs, who needs a hot dog? You need one? Just one? Have that, you have that up there? Just make sure you tell how much it is, 450. Oh, it's 450. Rocco is just the right personality to be out there. He has that aggressive voice to start yelling to get people's attention. Loud, loud, loud. You could be a lot more loud, loud. And then like that kind of soft personality to like, you know, connect with fans. Rocco, yay! <laughs> nice words. How are you, honey? Good to see you. Well, I think Rocco is a pretty good coach. I felt like I picked up the techniques pretty uh, quickly, but to no avail. Hot dogs, hot dogs. How we looking? I got four hot dogs left. OK, see if you can get rid of them, OK? Hot dogs, hot dogs. Who needs the hot dogs? Hot dogs, hot dogs. Slow going. I don't know if I was frustrated or not, but I had four hot dogs left. So let's just go back with an empty box. So uh, I took $20 out of my own pocket. I put it into the money. I took the four hot dogs and chucked them. Not good. Mark, did you throw hot dogs in the garbage can? No. These aren't from you? No, huh? No. I don't know there's more here. You said you didn't do it? No. He didn't believe me at all. He was very upset with me. You never do that. I didn't. You didn't okay. do it. You didn't throw those out? No. Where did these come from? I don't know. I don't know what to say. Ah. Uh, I don't know. It was kind of disappointing. You have to bring back whatever you don't sell. So it's $18 right there. That was going to come out of my pocket. We're not short any cash, though. I sold my whole case. The reality is I bought them. So nobody lost any money on that trade. I didn't even get a $2 tip. OK, so I'm going to go back. You want me to tell you? You got, I got it. I think he just wanted to make himself look better that he sold all of the hot dogs. He said he didn't do it, so I really don't know. Rocco, I have something else to come clean about. I totally threw those hot dogs out, but I'm going to be honest with you. I had $20 in my pocket, so I even gave us a $2 tip on that. That's funny. I just want to say that I saw how you worked. I saw how you interact with fans. You've been here for 28 years. Right. You've committed yourself. 16 years old. Working with you inspired me to create a new annual award called the Wrigley Field Award. And you're going to be the first recipient of that award. We're going to have a plaque that will you know, have your name on it. And the Caputo name will be forever engraved at Wrigley Field. You know, that's an honor. It really is. Um, My dad's up there, and I'm sure he's so happy for me right now. Yeah, yeah. We're going to put you in the row A for the last game of the season. We're going to have you throw out the first pitch. You're going to have four seats there, so you can bring some friends. Great. And, uh, Great. And a $1,000 cash award. You know, I'm so honored. I honestly. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Today is a great day for me. Did I earn it? Yes, I did. But I am so happy right now.